Over the past 10 years, treating brain fog for my patients and clients, the very first one that I think is absolutely necessary for anybody that suffers with brain fog is you have to understand what is the root of causing these symptoms. And probably one of the biggest ones that I do see creep up time and time again has a lot to do with the digestive system because the gut is responsible for making a lot of different neurotransmitters that are so vital to be able to have focus, motivation, drive. But when you have like things like candida overgrowth or you have irritable bowel syndrome or something that disrupts the gut flora, it's going to cause symptoms of brain fog all the time. And so if that is not under control, I find that when I first focus on helping restoring the gut, a lot of times the brain fog symptoms go away and improvement of energy and focus do improve. Now, along those same lines, if you have had a history of duration of poor digestion, where you've had some acid reflux and inflammation throughout your digestive system and also throughout your body, there's probably been a big issue over time of where your nutrients have been declining over time is because your body is not absorbing the nutrients that you're consuming if your digestive system is constantly inflamed and you're having leaky gut syndrome. And so therefore, you're going to probably have an issue of micronutrient deficiencies on your hands. So the second thing is you need to address, do you have some micronutrient deficiencies that have not been looked at? And running several different micronutrient tests can really solve the problem of your brain fog situation. Some of your biggest ones that you can be looking out for is having an iron deficiency. So are you anemic? That is probably one of the biggest things that can contribute to your brain fog. On top of that, it could be a vitamin B12 deficiency which also can contribute to brain fog, but also is a type of anemia when you have a vitamin B12 deficiency on your hands. And some of the really big ones is vitamin D3, as well as magnesium and zinc are some of the big ones that you do need to look out for. And another additional thing that you need to understand when it comes to brain fog is the body is so interconnected to so many different parts of the body, if one of those organs aren't functioning great, it can cause symptoms of brain fog. Like when someone says they have brain fog, that can mean so many different things. And so it's good to do a full workup of your whole body chemistry to understand really what is going on. And so another big one that can be contributing to this is a possibility of your hormones being out of balance. Now, if you have a thyroid issue on your hands, that is going to cause brain fog. And so you want to do a full workup of looking at TSH free T3, free T4, and also anti-TPO levels to just rule that out to make sure that it isn't the thyroid that's causing the brain fog situation on your hands. And so when you could treat that effectively, you could see that your brain fog situation can be dissipated. And so I have found that this is probably one of the best non-medicated treatments that you could possibly do is when you can identify if it is a thyroid issue or is it a hormone imbalance with your progesterone, estradiol, or TSH, or testosterone and DHEA levels? Like if those are out of balance, that is going to contribute to brain fog. So things that I will supplement if that is the case is doing like a natural progesterone cream to help improve progesterone levels that can help with that. Also on top of that is looking at adrenal functionality. So if the adrenals have adrenal insufficiency syndrome, which means basically your cortisol levels are just plummeted, you want to use something like adrenal desiccated to help improve those levels, which can contribute to your brain fog situation if your cortisol levels are too low. Now, if you want a further guide to understand really why you have brain fog and why you have low energy and focus issues, then you should download my all day focus and energy guide in the description below. Now, another really important non-medicated treatment that you can look at to really tackle the root of your brain fog situation is it could possibly be that you have some instability with your blood sugar levels. Now, I'm not talking about are you diabetic, which, you know, if you are diabetic, then that definitely will contribute to that. But even if you are pre-diabetic or even if you just have some subtle blood sugar imbalances. So what I'm referring to here is that what you should be doing is checking your blood sugar levels two to three hours after you eat. And ideally, you want to have your blood sugar levels to be 90 to 99 milligrams per deciliter. That is the ideal range. If you are above that after two or three hours of eating, that means you probably have some insulin sensitivity where you're not able to have enough insulin to be able to bring down your blood sugar levels into a healthy balance between that 90 to 99. And so therefore, you probably need to work on your diet, but also working on doing exercise, getting more protein in every single one of your meals to stabilize your blood sugar. Because bike blood sugar levels can not only cause brain fog, but it also can cause cell damage, inflammation to the brain, decrease blood flow restriction to the brain. So these are things that you got to be careful for that is more of an issue than just a brain fog situation on your hands. And the fifth non-medicated 
treatment that I think it works so great with my patients that has a brain fog situation to really stay clear of ever having brain fog issues is what I call my five staples. And these are things that you need to be consistent with on a day-to-day basis. And so that is getting good nutrition in, keeping your body hydrated. The brain requires so much water that they have found that like basically if you don't keep yourself hydrated, you can have a decrease of 19 to 20% of poor concentration when you're not hydrated enough. So that's a big dip. And that can also contribute to brain fog symptoms that you're experiencing. Also, the third is exercise. Exercise is so vital because not only does it help increase blood flow and circulation throughout the body into the brain, but it also is important for different hormones to be circulating throughout the body and increasing human growth hormones and other things that do support our bones and muscles, but also is supportive for the brain as well. And the fourth thing is managing your stress. So if you have internal and external stressors, that can sabotage all the things that you're trying to do as treatment for getting rid of your brain fog that you need to identify what is causing this stress and do whatever is necessary to start eliminating it. Get it away from your life if it's a toxic relationship, toxic work environment, whatever it is, you do need to eliminate that. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult for you to really get rid of your brain fog situation. And then the fifth staple is sleep. I can't stress this enough. If you are having sleep issues, if you're not getting seven to eight hours of sleep, you are going to have consistent brain fog situation on your hands. And so you might be trying all these different supplements. Now you probably noticed that I didn't talk about supplements. It's because supplements are great stepping stone, but it requires all these different non-Medicaid treatments that I use that I've found that are probably the most effective and are going to be consistent throughout your life. And so you just trying different supplements and you're still having poor sleep, it's not going to solve the problem. So if you have sleep issues, you probably should be looking into doing a sleep study. You might need a CPAP machine to help with your sleep, or you just need to work on having better sleep hygiene. Whatever it is, that is going to be so pivotal of being consistent with these five staples to eliminate your brain fog situation. But here's the thing is when it comes to brain fog, it's, it's easier said than done. And when you can understand why do I have this? What is the root of my brain fog situation? Because every individual has a very unique situation of what it could possibly be. So you should watch this video next where I dive in deep about my three-step system of if you do have brain fog or ADHD, focus issues, I talk about how you actually could specifically understand of what I do to help reverse that and eliminate those symptoms. So watch this video next.